Hello? Yes, I've gotten the paperwork ready. Okay, thanks for the help. Bother talking to me. I'm still pissed at you. Five minutes later. <sighs> Let's see what the mail is. Hmm. Why do I keep on getting my dad's mail? Well, what's this? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Is it mail for me? Don't even bother talking to me. Play your fucking rage shit. Suck a dick. Look what it says who it's from. Yeah, I know who it's from. It's from Mr. Donnellan. Just saying. Let's see what this shithead wants. Hmm. I wonder what he's giving me for this month. Eviction? Oh, I'm going to fucking call this asshole. Uh, eviction? You, shut up! Hello? Kevin! What the fuck do you want? Stop calling me Kevin. Can you explain why it says I have an eviction letter from you? Overdue rent, abuse, scamming, being a nuisance, high disturbance, thumping around the boarding house, etc. You are an asshole. Miguel, you and Alex have a two weeks notice. If I still see you there after two weeks, I'm calling the cops. Oh, it's Alex's fault. You asshole. Actually, he hasn't done really all that much and like you. You're a different problem. What? I don't want to hear it. You have two weeks. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit. You. Was there a reason why you threw that? He said I was the problem. Me! Actually, in most cases, you really are the problem. You know what? All you do is do fuck what happens to us. So you know what? I'm going to cover my eviction so I don't have to deal with it anymore. You can get the fuck out of my house. If I go, you go too, you idiot. I don't want to hear it. I really don't want to fucking hear it. Pack your shit and go. What? Go! No. You make me do all this shit because of fuck what happens to us. Go! But pack right now! You know what? I'm gonna go to the nearest homeless shelter and I'm gonna go ahead and rot there. Good, you <laughs> fucking cry baby. And goodbye. <laughs> I never wanna see you again. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. Are you all packed? Why the hell are you doing this? Because I deserve to live here. I pay for the bills, and you're just my retarded roommate. So take this. You know what? Fuck you. I'm glad you throw me out. Good riddance. Good. Have a nice life. Woo! I got rid of my eviction problem! <laughs> no. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> I'm so fucking sick and tired of him. He doesn't fucking care about anything but himself. He really doesn't fucking care. No! I can't fucking handle this anymore! Fuck you, neighborhood! Mr. Donald owns every single one of these places, and this is what fucking happens. I get, ev I get thrown out by this idiot because there's no one to be responsible. Uh, I'm all, I'm almost there. I, I, I don't even know what's gonna happen to me. Can this suffering just end already? I just want to leave this place already. 
Come on. Why does that have to be this bad? <laughs> oh shit, gotta hurry up. Come on, come on, I don't wanna be this anymore. Come on, I wanna leave. I wanna fucking leave. <laughs> Yeah. This is so exhausting. It's time to start my life. I don't want some prank abusing me anymore. I'm gonna do things my way, and he cannot stop me from doing it. <laughs> this is such a very funny video. I need to react to this. Ah, oh, what does this fuckhead want? Hello? Big Al, can I ask you a question? Am I not being evicted anymore? No, you idiot. I got three complaints on you throwing Alex out and verbal abuse. He deserved to leave. He was the burden. I got rid of the problem. Damn it, man. You're, you're a heartless idiot. Like, really. It's not only him. It's also you. You're the bigger problem. So? When I meant you getting evicted, I didn't mean specifically just him or just you. I, it went to the both of you. Mainly you. Why me? Why? Because you're a problem in my property and everyone around you. Then what am I supposed to do with the bastard? Find him and go somewhere. I don't want you here. You have one week! Fuck. <sighs> I can't believe I have to go and find him by myself. This is just a joke. Just a joke. So, now I have to go find him. Guess he should have just understood that I was probably kidding. <sighs> Where the fuck could this idiot be? Alex! Where the hell are you? <laughs> Get the fuck away! God damn it. Where is he? Uh... Alex! Where the fuck are you? Fuck. Fuck! <sighs> Where the fuck is he? Where is he? Where the fuck are you, man? God damn it! There. You know what? I fucking give up. <sighs> this is really exhausting. I could call him. Wait, I didn't bring my phone with me. Great, now I have to go back home and friggin' get it. Time to see where the hell he is. <sighs> Alright, now let's call him. Egg, what does this shithead want? Hello? Can you come home, please? Mr. Donovan wants me to find you so that we can leave together. Please don't tell me you're on the bus yet. No, you can fuck off. I don't care about your problem with that impatient bastard. Now, Excuse me, I'm going to start my life my own way. <sighs> what an arrogant bastard. What should I do? Like, really, what should I do? Oh, wait! There's the bus. It's 
especially with what it is. You know, I don't really see much about it anymore. You know, Big Al no longer has to deal with me. I no longer have to see him. And Mr. Donovan can deal with him in his own right. Because I know for a fact that he hates him more than me. And it always doesn't seem right, but it's true. I wish I actually did what happens to us on right now. But no, I didn't bring anything with me. I couldn't. Whatever. I'm better off without not having to deal with him in a shit anyway. Yeah. It doesn't really seem anything anymore. Just a usual day. It always doesn't go too well. I hope he's evicted. Why is it sunny now all of a sudden? Oh wow, he actually wants to talk to me. Hello? Uh, Logan? Oh great, you wanna fucking screw me over again like you did last time? No, 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 That's not why I called. That's not why I called at all. So what the fuck did you call for? Oh, you know that kid, Alex? The kid that you treat like shit? What about him? Uh... What the hell did you do? I did nothing. I did nothing wrong. Tell me. I'm currently being evicted and I threw him out of my house. Why? Oh, you know. I did it to get rid of my eviction problem. You're such an idiot. You really think I want to help you after all the shit we went through? And? How about you find him? Your own problem, not mine. Well, shit. Alright, time to go out. I need some fresh air. <sighs> I made it somewhere where I don't even know where he can find me. What is this place called anyway? I have Mary and myself. I don't even know where to begin. Where do I sleep? Where do I go to the bathroom? Where do I go? Where do I go from here? <sighs> oh lord. Look, there's benches. There's benches over here. Yeah. Time to find a place to sleep, and it's this. Oh, God. Uh, got some clothes, some blankets. Guess I'll start sleeping here later. Uh, that fucking douchebag. Logan. Logan, huh? 
I don't know if I've met you before. Uh, I know Big Al, you know, uh, the older version of you. We go way back. And I know what happened to you exactly. Really? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is this some type of facade? This is no facade. I know Big Al. Wait, you know that I lived with him? Yes, of course I know you lived with him. I know him and he told me about you. Do you two still talk? I don't think I've ever seen you before. I think other than one time, and that was a while ago. There was a big falling out. I'll tell you everything about it later. Uh, okay. Okay. What brings you here, though? Why are you in the park here by yourself with no one else? Well, he kicked me out of the boarding house I was living with him, and I really have nowhere else to go. Alright, well, why don't you live with me for now, and we can figure this out. Is there any rent involved? Is there anything I have to do? Uh, no, you'll still have to be in school though, and I'll figure out the rest. Hmm, let me think. You know, today has been such a hectic day. You know, we're being evicted from the uh, boarding house, and it's been really hard because he's putting all the blame on me. But unfortunately, however, it's really both of us, and he doesn't want to take responsibility. So, because I have nowhere else to go, and you're offering me a place, and since you seem trustworthy... Alright, so you want to go live with me or what? Yeah. I'll come live with you. All right, come on, get your shit and I'll take you to my house. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go. So, I have a question. You know, you two are friends? Whatever happened to that? It was a big thing. It's a long story, but I'll, I'll tell you about it. Are you sure it's a big thing? Yes. What happened with him? Like, were you two, like, close friends or something? Oh, we were, and there was a whole lot of uh, drama, but, you know things happen so you're mad at him or no i'm not mad at him you sure yeah uh if anything i think he's mad at me really yeah so this is more on one side huh pretty much yeah. that sucks to hear i mean you know you know i had people complain about us because he was neurotic and selfish and violent and i mean like it didn't really go bad until recently when I was doing an episode of one of my series I was doing and he ended up just kicking the shit out of me, which ended up actually causing the eviction letter that we had to come into the mail. And this is where I ended up right now. It's not fun and uh, I really wish that this didn't happen. You know, when I when I knew him, I don't remember him acting like that, so I, I don't know what's up with him, but... It's gonna be okay now. You so, sure? Positive. You know, this is so weird. I feel like this is deja vu. Have I seen you before? Uh, I think maybe once. But I, I don't recall. It's weird, you know? Like, I remember s seeing you with a lady, but I don't know who that was. Oh, lady? I think that was uh, my mom. Really? Yeah. That's weird. I mean, this place seemed familiar, which is why I came here. But also, it's a big park, so, you know, if I had to sleep in the park, I might as well do it here. You know, I mean, I appreciate you for doing this. You know, you didn't have to do it. No, it's no problem. You know, I saw you. I, I didn't know what was going on, so I wanted to try to reach out and see what was the matter. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. So, where, where do you live? Uh, just around the corner. I can come in? Yeah, we can come in. Does your mom know about me? Uh, no, but I'll tell her. I'm sure she's aware of who I am. No, she knows who you are, at least here. The other side. Oh, okay. This is an interesting place. So, yeah, this is my room. Really? This is your room? Yep. Home sweet home. Well, where am I supposed to sleep? On the floor? Uh, if you want, yeah. Guess that's the only option. So, what can I do in the room, you know? Is there anything interesting you have? Uh, I, I have video games, and uh, you probably need to do some school shit, like your homework or something. That's fair enough. So I guess I'll play some games then, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, feel free. Do it. Do whatever you want. Your home is my home. So, what game is this? I win! I win! Yeah! I win the game! That was fun. But what to do now? Uh, no, I think it's getting late. I think we gotta go to bed. Ah. Yeah. Uh... All right, here's your pillow. And here's your blanket. Thank you. And that's where you're gonna be sleeping. Wait, I'm gonna be sleeping here? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. At least that leads to bed. The next morning. Why is there a woman in the background? What just happened? Oh, right. A man in the boarding house. All right, let's get up. Huh. What's with the laptop and remote doing on the bed? Well, since I lost my phone and I have nothing to use, I might as well film another episode of what happens to us on this computer. What's with all this stuff? I don't even know. There is. There is a camera feature. Hey, everyone. So this is another episode of What Happens to Us. And this one is called, Why Do We Get Evicted? Yep. I got evicted from the boarding house I was living in with Big Al. And he was so selfish to the point where he wanted me out, basically. Even though um, the landlord got tired of us and our antics and our uh, issues that he basically sent the both of us an eviction notice telling us that we had to leave the property. But Big Al basically didn't want to deal with it anymore. And instead of just telling me, okay, we have to move somewhere, he ended up throwing me out, saying that I was the bigger problem, even though we're both the problem. He's probably the bigger problem. So I've been heartbroken and I've been shaking for the last day or two. Um, I, I stayed in the park for about a night. Actually, I lied. I didn't. I stayed there for a couple hours, and then a guy who was named Logan found me and said he knew who I was and he knew kind of the situation because I told him about it, but he also knew that he knew the both of us and what the big problem with him is. So he offered to take me in, and I ended up sleeping on the floor of his room as his mom, very sweet lady, has actually helped me. You know, you know I bathed, I showered, and, you know, I'm in a very good place. You know, it's a very messy room, but it, it's a room nonetheless. You know, as long as I have to deal with Big Al anymore, I'm perfectly good. You know, it's something that I didn't really understand until recently that, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I still technically live at the boarding house, but he's probably not going to be able to be living there soon because of Donaldman because he wants us both out. And since I'm out. I don't know if he knows that he threw me out. Probably not. Probably. Knowing him, he knows a lot of connections, so he probably does. But unfortunately for me, it's been very hard because it's very traumatizing. And it's also something that I never thought I would ever deal with. I did make something about eviction. You know, Donovan always told us that we're going to be evicted if we keep on doing this. And I think this is what ended up happening. You know, and now... I have to live with what he did, and I hope he gets a ton of karma for it. I don't wish good on him, and I don't wish bad on him either. I just hope it just comes f crashing down on him. I really hope it does. And now it's something that I don't know what to deal with. You know, I am using Logan's laptop. He is not even aware I'm doing this. Don't know what he feels. Don't know what he thinks. But it's something that I really just wish I understood. You know, I don't know why he knows him. I don't know how he knows him. But to me, I feel like I've seen him before. But I can't, I can't picture it in my mind. That's the big problem. But, you know, I'm glad he took me in and I'm thankful. And I hope that this is a good beginning for me and this is something that I need. You know, I never understood how much I needed this until now. I need a lot of space from Big Al and his antics. I mean, I know I do antics too. You know, eviction is something that we were probably going to face anyway. And now, you know, since we didn't pay our rent, you know, we were causing a lot of issues. We were, we were People were complaining about us, and there was tons of screaming and thumping and all that stuff. It was probably going to happen regardless. And unfortunately, this is now where I have to say, I'll see you guys in the next episode that happens to us, if there ever is one. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. See you guys soon.